Okay, I want to pick your brain on um, Tory Lanez. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's currently serving 10 years for shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. How you Little Tory Lanez <laughs> is doing 10 years. <laughs> now, he actually has a song, and he said in one of his lyrics, and let me get this right, he said, I got a couple of questions. How the F you get shot in your foot and don't hit no bones or tendons? So my question to you is, is it possible to get shot in your foot and not hit a bone or a tendon? I've seen people shot in weird places. I'm, they just in and out. Uh, your foot? I don't, I mean, you could get hit. Ah, your foot? I mean, <laughs> that is a tough, sh I don't know. I, I broke my toe falling down the stairs, two stairs. No, it was one. I was on my second step. And I broke my toe. Um, I don't know how that happened, but it happened. I don't know. I think it would be, what did she get shot with? Like a nine mil prop? More than likely like a nine. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe she got hit with shrapnel or something like that. But a bullet going through the foot, I think would, I think. Yeah, because it's like your hand. I think it would, You. yeah, that's. That's a lucky foot. That's a lucky foot. If you didn't, <laughs> if you didn't, break, <laughs> if you didn't break anything, that's a, that's a lucky one. <laughs> that's a lucky. I yeah. don't know. I'm not going to say, um, I don't know. I just, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think it is how they said it happened? Here's what I really think. Mm -hmm. I think Megan Thee Stallion is a multimillionaire. Mm -hmm. I think Tory Lanez is a multimillionaire. I don't think either one of them, either one, mm -hmm. should be touching a gun. You're way too famous. You're way too rich. That's what you pay other Security people Security for. Thank you. What? Yeah. What the hell are you doing tussling for a gun? Mm hmm putting a gun in your hand like that is when keeping it real just goes way too wrong yeah yeah it's so that, yeah it's one thing you know if we talking about somebody who's right up off the block ain't made no real money in the game and he still got one foot in one foot out mm -hmm. but these are multi-millionaires both of them yeah the fact that this man is sitting down for the next 10 years of his life when you had a career, mm -hmm. when you had millions in the bank, when you were a celebrity, not just in the U.S., but abroad, you ain't have no reason on God's green earth touching no gun. I agree. I agree. So, yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a, as simple as that for yeah. me. Yeah. I think, yeah, you're 100% correct. I think that. And that's what I kind of don't like about the whole rap game persona like i enjoy music not so much so the new stuff that they have out now but i enjoy i still listen to, to rap i've been listening to rap hip-hop since i was knee high sneaking in my you know in my room to record my own little uh mixtape song cassettes but i just think it's that they feel that they have to present themselves to be this image that maybe they may not be used to or comfortable with and just because you have a gun doesn't mean you know how to use it, you know? Um, it's a terrible, yeah, situation well, for the both of that's them. That's the reason why there's so many innocent bystanders. Yeah, exactly. Du dudes have guns and just, just busting off. Yeah. And ain't never been to a range, ain't never pulled the trigger before, just squeezing. Mm hmm And the wrong person get hit. Yep, yep. You know, it's crazy. And I'm not going to speculate. Like, who knows how the whole situation happened? Maybe it was a warning shot. And he shot it off and accidentally hit her in the foot. I mean, because I just unless he's really that 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 short to where like his aim hit her in the foot from his line of sight because him just being curb height. I don't know, but might have been. A I mean, they was in the car when it happened. Oh, so, so yeah. I think she was in the back seat. He might have been in the front. Who knows? That's weird. But they were definitely in a vehicle. And from what, you know, I, one of them saying that they was fighting over the gun, you know, it's just, it's just, 
a terrible situation and it is a deal, right? Any any young aspiring uh, talent, because it doesn't matter what industry you're in, we're, we're seeing in um, Memphis, you know, John Morant, mm -hmm. he's out there playing with guns, suspended right now as we speak. Th this guy should be, Tory Lane sitting down for 10 years, that should be a cautionary tale for anybody who's young, making money, made it out the hood, doing something positive with their life, and you still want to act like you don't have nothing to live for. I know, it's like, weird. To me, it's just insane. 50 Cent, I just watched a, uh, a, a short clip yesterday. 50 Cent had brought up, he's like, uh, he, you don't ever see rich people fight. They got too much to lose. And that, like, he's like, the only people you really see fighting and shooting each other are people who have nothing. You know, that's why they're always angry. They have, they're, they're fighting all the time. But you never see rich people fight. And you bring this situation up. I'm like, well, maybe not. Maybe you do. It's just, uh, I don't know why people are like that. Like, if you have everything in the world, why give it up on something as stupid as, you know, being tough with the gun or, I mean, it's not even being tough. I don't know. I wouldn't pull a, girl, a gun out on a female anyways to begin with. I think that's, that's weird, but. Yeah, you got to be a really small ego dude to pull a gun on a girl, you know? I don't know. Or to have a gun involved with the female. It's just, it's a weird situation to be in, you know? Yeah, I mean, it really, really is. Um, you know, no, no matter how you slice this, it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a bad situation. Obviously, for both of them, she was shot. Uh... And she is a victim, mm -hmm. you know, but he he's a guy who's now I, I don't care how you slice it. I mean, he's a young black male and now he's another statistic. Mm -hmm. Here mm -hmm. we go again. Yeah. So, you know, I, I hope that. Not just that he learns his lesson, but I hope others learn from him. Mm. They don't need to go through sitting in jail for 10 years. Learn from that man. Hove said it best. Learn from his mistakes. Hove did that, so hopefully you won't have to go through that. Uh, he said it best. There you go. Yeah, that's how I look at it. And I'm like, man, you got to learn from other people's mistakes. And a uh, long time, I was a kid, but an old guy, my uncle, he told me a long time ago, he said, you'll always learn two things from a, uh, a person, what to do or what not to do. No matter who they are, you always learn those two basic things from, from anyone what to do or what not to do. Those are one of those things, you know, of what not to do. But with that being said, I think, I don't know if any artist out there needs a bodyguard. I know some people. I know a guy. I know a guy. If you, if you feel well, this leads me into where I want to go next. Go, go, go ahead, because I, I want to go somewhere. I was going to pick your brain on something else. I don't even know where I was going with that. I was just going to say, yeah, I don't know. If you, if you feel the need to, to have a gun or need protection, you don't, yeah. I know a guy. 